Greetings, viewers. Welcome back to Phasophobia for another weekly challenge. This time it's Glow in the Dark. Without further ado, let's hop into it and see what's in store for us this week. Okay, so here we are at Edgefield. We have all tier ones and we're missing a bunch of them. Um, so what's that? Recorder. What else are we missing? Via, via recorder. Mm, we have most, I think we have uh, everything except for ghost orbs. Yep. Yeah. Why I was thinking there's a lot more missing. It's, I think it's flashlights. Where the flashlights usually are. Used about. Um, and we have protection. That's so uncommon. 100% breakers on. Interesting. I would have thought this would be a breakerless challenge. Oh, I thought it would be broken. Might still be on the map, but not broken. Oh, music box. I'm not sure what music box has to do with. I wonder if it's a set. Has possession? Breaker looks like it works. It's not flickering. Using the music box is really hard without lights on, but keeping with the spirit of the challenge, I don't really feel like it's fair to use them. Where does this go? Oh, hang on. Where? Oh, it didn't pick up an EMF. Where was that? Watching doors so much. Meant to pick up the EMF. But I didn't. I'm gonna bring another glow stick. And EMF and a spirit box. Definitely upstairs, that's one thing's for sure. I mean this would be really cool, this challenge, if there was like glow in the dark all over the map. Because we know that the devs can write, uh, can make textures like that. Oh, that kind of glows. Whoops. Oh, hello, Mr. Ghosty. Where was that? Probably in one of these rooms. Okay. Oh, we got fingies. He's nice glow in the dark. Where are you? Are you here? Close to busting. Alrighty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. UV spirit box. I'm still currently doing my no evidence challenge. Hello there. Uh, where I'm trying to get all the ghosts with no evidence. Can you stop that? Sorry, just... Um, yeah, I'm trying to get all the evidence. Got Mimic, Phantom, or Mimic, we're gonna have to test that. I take a photo then if I had a photo. What's that? Dots. Alright, we can look for that. That's easy. Maybe we'll take him one of these just to protect our escape. Altergeist with this. Oh, it's so bright. I wouldn't normally say that. When I'm walking around in the dark, it kind of feels like it is. Oh, we should get more than one. Give me a sign. Show us. Where are you? 
mimic i can tell i think because it'll have freezing it's probably not a mimic show us give us a sign one of the big problems is i'm not oh i should probably can't tell oops we get another dot and another writing book in there So I imagine it would already be freezing because uh, the, the room temperature would have started off very low considering the uh, I'll bring something up. considering the weather oldest weather give us a sign show us where are you where are you? Oh, well, there we go. Nice and active. Hasn't been throwing that much. Anyway, let's game one done. Poltergeist. Easy. Oh. On to the next one. Go, Poltergeist. Classic Poltergeist. You can tell by all the throwing. No, no throwing at all. It's a bit weird at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. Next one. Okay. We've arrived. Check um, go in again with this. This, and we'll actually bring the EMF this time. It was active, but just wasn't a lot of throwing. It was a little unusual for poltergeist, but... Ghost, where are you? Can you please do something? Where? Anywhere. Now the door's actually staying shut. If they are, I think I know where the ghost is. Let's, let's shut that one. Uh, I don't think they are, because like... They it must be set to low though. Ghosty. So clearly we have all three evidences. Which is okay. makes a fairly easy challenge. First. Of course you don't you can play it differently than how I am. You can of course turn the breaker on. And make it even easier. Um, I'm not sure what the activity is set to though. It might be though. Ghosts aren't doing an awful. Was it spirit box again? No, it was not spirit box. Means that it is somewhat random. I didn't even think to look for. Something circle. I mean, if it is something circle, that's what I don't want. Oh, oh, oh. That was a big throw. Where was that? <gasps> you gotta turn the lights on. Wasn't in this room. I think it might be out here. Oops. No, it was definitely in one of the rooms. Whoops. Hmm. Sounds like cups. Being thrown. I can't remember where the cups are. There's like one here, but it's not, it has not been thrown. One here. Cups on the floor here, no. Must be this one. No. Right. 
Well, it did do a ghost zone from in here, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it must be. Yes, exact same room as last time. Fair enough. And fingerprints again. And this one I would actually believe is a poltergeist. Uh, it would not surprise me. Because it has been doing quite a few throws. Well, I'm not sure what you're throwing. Oh, you threw the cup in that bin. That's why it was so hard to see. Uh, yeah, this one's been a lot more throwy. That, we'll grab that, we'll grab that. Easy peasy. Why did I turn that off? Apparently I didn't. Apparently I just came over here. I think it really is a poltergeist. Because it sounds like they're like double throws. Where are you? Are you here? Oh no, it's dots. Where are... I don't think they can be spirit box. Oh, I can, of course. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Close to phantom this time. The phantom was out poltergeisting the poltergeist. That's a bit sad. That's that is a bit sad, I'm not. But there we go. It's a phantom. That's round two. Gee, it's super easy challenge this time, at least for me. I've been, been pretty lucky, though. Sometimes those um, dots can be incredibly hard to get. It does depend what map you're on, though. Edgefield, honestly, is probably one of the best maps for Tier 1 dots and riding. Uh, because a lot of its rooms are pretty compact. Um, there's not many humongous ones, there's a couple that are pretty big. Oh, tarot cards. I'll have to pull some of those, but not yet. Soon, soon we will. There you go. Doors definitely not standing open. But a lot of them are, like, a lot of them are closed. Sorry, not staying. Ghost, where are you? Hello. It looks like it's random curse possession, which is really pretty uncommon, actually. We got a hiding spot here. Edgefields is not one of the best ones for looping. I think it's not great that. So this could go really badly here. I love how it bleeds through the floor. We'll pull them after. Oh, what? No glow in the dark for the glow in the dark challenge this time. That's sad. Okay, are you in here? Good being. Nope, nope, definitely in there. Okay. Get some stuff and set up. So yeah, as I was saying, like, larger maps, uh, and maps where the rooms are a bit funny, like, freaking Camp Woodwind, this is very hard to use. I mean, I, I kind of find it even hard in, I usually love Willow. Hello there. Oh, where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? It's looking like a not spirit box. That's what I like, but spirit box may be a bit hard to uh Really in a real out. Uh oh. No, my writing book. It writes in that. I don't think I'm going to be able to see it. I'll be able to hear it. 
not see it. Let's not put it up there again. And let's get another one of these. Another one of these. Yeah, it'll be... Who cares if we die? Probably not spirit box. Again, it shouldn't be... Where are you? Are you close? I should have this. Oh, that looks like EMF5. Yep. Sounds like EMF5. EMF5, you got to make sure it is going well into the red. See how it's going, like, way past the 5? That's EMF5. Uh, if it just hits the 5 sometimes, that's probably EMF4. Um, it's taking forever to go. So, we have that. Honestly, we probably do not have ultraviolet or... Spirit box? Cool. Where are you? Are you close? Do you like pizza? Are you French? Sometimes it picks these things up, sometimes it doesn't. How old are you? Where are you? I mean, the game sometimes, like when I was using the... The door? When I was using the... You sure you're not out here? I saw cold breath out here. I damn seen cold breath out here. Cold in both. Oh, because I had the breaker on. Yeah, you're definitely more out here. There's probably in here... Maybe they've got changing rooms. Might have changed. I don't really need to check for EMF5. Oh, okay. That's why I thought you touched the door. I thought I heard that. So I already know what it is. Uh, there's going to be no Barke. Barke can not leave fingerprints. Turn that off. Can't see anything because I. Yeah. What is the bar key? I think it's. Is it ghost orbs? Yeah. Not going to be able to get the last evidence, but a bar key has one in five chance to not leave fingerprints. It also has an ability that will uh, reduce. The duration of all fingerprints that currently are present on the map. And it has also an ability to transform. Uh, thankfully, I just got a Barke, so I don't need to jump into its arms for my no evidence getting all achievements run. Um, what else? Oh, I could also give a. Oh, she actually started a hunt on its own. Interesting. I have been in the dark for a long time. Uh, uh, what else is there interesting about the Obake? Is the special fingerprints. I didn't even look. One of those was probably an Obake fingerprint. At some point. Probably was one. I didn't really look. Maybe? I think it's the opposite of this one and it's got an extra finger and on light switches it's it's just like it has two fingers Let's see what we got oh yep moon card well i was already in hunting range anyway makes no difference well that's how it rolls But the fact that I didn't get, I did not have ultraviolet on a door that I know it touched earlier, uh, that's an instant giveaway. Like you don't get UV, and then you suddenly get UV later when you checked before. That's a dead giveaway. It's an abake. Um Or, I mean, you have to be pretty sure that, that you're checking the right door, of course. But if you see a light switch touched, you see a door touched, 
you see, you know, like, or not you see, you see usually with the EMF, right? You check it with EMF and you're sure it's that one, you hear a window knock. If there was UV and then all of a sudden there's not, or vice versa, probably an Obaka. There's got a 20% chance to not leave fingerprints. Now that is if you don't um, change the fingerprint chance, right? If you don't change the fingerprint chance in custom settings. Uh, none of the, I don't think the devs have ever made a custom thing where the fingerprint chance was different, but you can set it yourself, uh, and that makes a bar game more difficult to discover, because it's not guaranteed anymore, because every other ghost that has UV, if it touches a door, touches a window, touches a light switch, it will leave fingerprints, no exceptions. Unless unless they're bugged, sometimes they can be a bit buggy. Like for a while there, the uh, uh, breaker doors had fingerprints on them, but they didn't actually show having fingerprints on them. But, you, but it was back when you could take photos of fingerprints without actually seeing them. Uh, so we knew that it did because you took a photo of it and said fingerprints, etc. Like there are bugs, of course, but um, with the exception of bugs, it's probably no barco. So. Uh, that was a pretty good one, and and I got UV every time, which is fantastic. And this is the UV ghost. Didn't get to see its special uh, UV fingerprints because of a hanged man, but that's how the cookie crumbles. So until next time, remember, ghost makes a poison. Thanks, guys.